So the brand new season four trailer is out. Here's a little preview of the trailer and I'm gonna break it down looking at the storyline, the new weapons, the new skins, the new items, everything in the new season. Let's break that down after you've seen the trailer. So here, watch the trailer first and we'll break it down in slow-mo. Okay, so let's break this down. So first off, you can see we've got the eclipse starting here in slow motion. This is really interesting because it starts with the eclipse in the cinematic sequence, and then we see the first POI. Now this POI, I don't know which one it is. It's gonna be one of the three new POIs. There's three new POIs this season. There's the Sweets, the Rentless Retreat, and obviously the Eclipse Estate. This to me looks like the Eclipse Estate at first. This is probably a reference to that POI, which we can see here. And this, we'll talk about the storyline towards the end of this trailer, but for now, we're just gonna break down what's in the trailer and then we'll get into the storyline of the season. So first off, we do see different guards around here. You can see me circling them. This is similar to chapter two, season two. They'll be guarding the estate here, which will be an important area for the map. Next one, is a really awesome shot because we actually get a date up here the 20th of the 3rd 25th which is actually the day Oro come to the item shop in 2020 this is a time traveling machine and you can see vampire uh, Kato here actually comes through and comes back through with his little vampire Oro head with his little kinetic blade or maybe a new version of the kinetic blade like a red version that does a different ability and you can see here he is he arrives with his Oro and with that and we've got to stop the vampire himself so he comes in and obviously he's got his little vampire uh, kind of thrown that's his name, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. He comes in. You got a little screenshot here. We go back a little bit and miss this little shot here. As this does become more HD in the distance, we can actually see, if you look there, some cube photos on the right and also a photo of himself down the left, I think. Pretty interesting stuff. And obviously his guard. So I wonder if that's a reference to like the cube and does he connect with the cube people? I don't know yet. That could just be a speculation. But here he is inside of his kind of chamber where he's stolen all the goods and he's stolen different goods from different parts of time by the looks of it using his time machine going back to different eras of fortnite to rob different items and i don't know how this affects the storyline too much but it is quite important because you can see he's acquired different stuff from drum guns to cds to vic two crowns to peely even the golden uh i forgot the name of it the golden fish thing he's even grabbed that so yeah you can see the poi preview there on the ipad that's his main poi oh actually these are the other team now so what we assume this is actually part of the other team that are going to be fighting against the vampire himself which is interesting because it's kind of cool i love the skin there you can see obviously these are the battle pass skins as well if you didn't clock that already but they are so yeah interesting and late enough they arrive at this here with a pizza pit delivery bait so they come in they use that to kind of get their way in you can see here the guards are like no 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 you got a little drop in behind obviously they're in you got the suppressed pistol there new skin there probably from the battle pass pizza pit baits them in and they get in the team make their way in to the mansion now inside of it this screenshot is really interesting because these are the guards watching the screen funny enough jonesy here is on the right actually doing something here with his kind of I don't know what he's doing, but he's trapped. Looks like he's in prison or something. So this is obviously storyline related. The first reciting of Jonesy, he is back. He is back, guys. This is huge. Jonesy is officially back. So really exciting stuff there from the cameras. Then obviously we see the new item here, which looks like it's going to be some sort of stun item. It throws in and obviously electrocutes them, which is pretty cool. 
Okay, so the shot after this one is coming in with the lasers. You can see we've got the lasers. We've got the new skin here walking through. If you go back a little bit, you can actually see there's a little photo of the Princess Fish Stick on here we've not seen in ages. And also a few little uh, Art Deco props from Fortnite Creative and a lot of reused props here in this section. But it's kind of neat. You can see it kind of transitioning in nicely. New skin here. And as they come into the mansion, you can also see a painting of Dr. Sloan there on the left. So I wonder if this is reference. Are these part of Sloan's team? I don't really know where's the storyline going here, but we'll talk more about that in a second as we get towards the end obviously new new rifle potentially there as well which they're using to zoom in with i don't recognize this thing or this one so this new scope on it and also this kind of box as well which throws down you can see it comes down to the floor and then it comes into a kind of sentry turret which takes out all the guards which is super cool so nice little eliminations there on the guards really cool stuff and you can see obviously the guards get taken down and you can pick back up the box which is super cool now the next scene is an interesting one because you can see different artifacts in the background you can see them in behind but obviously you see the battle pass skins here and the battering ram which is used to break into the vault obviously trying to advertise the new fish stick skin because that's going to be quite a big one that people are going to enjoy and obviously they can make break their way into the vault nicely but this guy just opens the door which is kind of funny so it's like what was the point of uh doing that and i think this is some sort of tiktoker who does like uh sign language mainly or not sign language but mimes things should i say which he just allows people to interpret him in a miming aspect and obviously they break into the vault you can see madis's drum gun from the past you get that picked up you can probably see a few other things oro's head i don't know what that will be like but that's pretty cool and uh yeah i kind of like that golden egg over here some more stuff in the background and that one closes down the right and all of these clothes i don't know what's behind these but they all close giving it an alert and when you get inside the vault it looks like that could possibly summon the boss here he is the vampire uh, himself and you can see he breaks through here and this is the geezer we've got to be worried about because he's going to be the one that's going to be hunting us down trying to get us and he's possibly going to be the boss of this season the main character so yeah and then he runs in you can see all the skins are absolutely scared he charges at them and he just ends there with the last resort popping up and then finally something just to mention quickly which we haven't shown which you would have seen possibly before is this screen so this screen is just a preview of all the battle pass skins which you're going to be able to access obviously ahsoka tano kind of makes sense that was almost guaranteed to be in the battle pass which could mean the return of star wars mythics which could be quite exciting and then these other skins here as well and obviously the vampire dude as well so really exciting season looks really cool definitely strange for the storyline i can't really pick up where things are going with this but i guess this is not actual gameplay footage uh, the cinematic which we just watched none of it is gameplay footage so everything we've seen in there could also be just lies and fake stuff as they do state here at the end of the trailer not actual gameplay footage a two-faced and momentous mastermind and a pivotal plot this is fortnite last resort funnily enough they're always like a last resort or last something last something for the last season of the chapter vampire kado or kado however you pronounce his name throne vampire throne uh, has made the island his home in fortnite battle royale chapter 4 season 4 draining the island's wealth and treasures to fund opulent properties Sanjuan Suites, I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be pronouncing it wrong. Rentless Retreat and Eclipsed Estate. Heist, th Heist Thrones properties to take back what's the islands and more importantly, to throw Thrones ultimate plan. So we've got to heist our way in and steal stuff. The fate of the islands at stake and thieveries, the last resort. So are you in? So obviously that's the description for this season's description which is kind of exciting because now we can take a, just a general talk about where things are at storyline wise what we gauge from this cinematic trailer obviously we've not played the new season yet we're just looking at the cinematic but that is crucial and one to talk about and analyze so generally speaking it definitely feels weird i am very excited for the season to see what content it brings but I'm worried for the Fortnite storyline. I know we saw Jonesy in his prison cell, which was a big thing before, but we've had all the Sloane stuff, all the all that stuff sort of building up the return of Sloane, but there's not really been too much about the Seven or anything like this, and it's kind of just faded. And this also feels like a bit of a filler in the storyline. It's not really yet giving us any informative thing. Like a lot of people have been saying the storyline's gonna be mega this season, and I generally don't see much storyline from this trailer. The Jones thing was cool. But I'm not getting anything else. And even the description of the season doesn't really give us an insight to what the storyline could possibly be like for this season. It's not really telling us much. It's just kind of going, oh, he's here. Throne's here. He's on the island. Can you stop him? Usual, usual. Island's in trouble. Got to get the thrones. Got to heist him. And that's how you get his stuff and stop him. There isn't really much... Uh, 
like big big planned storylines stuff how's this going to lead into an event i do not know or is it just not going to be an event it's just going to be chapter five i don't know let me know in the comments your thoughts on that that's the storyline side the actual season itself i'm very excited from looking forward to all the new items and weapons and obviously seeing what it's like getting into these new vaults and stuff and heisting it it's definitely going to be more of a challenge i think and make it a little bit more interesting more fun to do i can't wait to do some funny videos on that and stuff it's going to be really cool but yeah we're going to probably do a live stream here on the channel at some point later today so make sure you're tuning in for that and i hope you guys have enjoyed this little video let me know your thoughts on the season